Hello, I'm Rebecca Reck. Let's take a look at an experiment that you can complete with our affordable and portable laboratory kit for control systems. This kit consists of a small DC motor, which is under the platform, a potentiometer, which is mounted to the top of the platform for a position sensor, and an optical encoder wheel, which is attached to the motor for a speed sensor, like this. We also have a Raspberry Pi, which is a single board computer, and a solderless breadboard with interfaces between the Raspberry Pi, the motor, and sensors. In this experiment, we asked the students to design and test a control law for the position of the DC motor. When complete, the motor will move counterclockwise 90 degrees, pause, and then move clockwise 90 degrees. The piece of paper attached to the encoder wheel will help highlight this motion on the kit. Variations of proportional integral and derivative, or PID control, are used to accomplish this motion. The students implement their control law using MATLAB and Simulink. This is an example of the Simulink model of a completed PD control law for the motor. MATLAB's Raspberry Pi support package writes the code based on this model, compiles it, and runs it on the Raspberry Pi. As the control law is running, the data is being plotted on the screen in real time. The yellow trace on the top plot represents the desired position of the motor, and the magenta plot shows the actual position of the motor, as measured by the potentiometer. The second plot shows the difference between these two signals. The students have indicated the importance of being able to relate the physical equipment moving to the plots on the screen. At first, this might seem like an academic exercise. However, the automatic doors used for an accessible entrance use a similar control law. Here are the automatic doors from the front of the Industrial and Enterprise Systems Engineering Department at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, the first department to use this kit. We would like to thank the Academy for Excellence in Engineering Education at the University of Illinois for their support of this work.